Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Caveney and we are on our seventh story of our stories module and today is the first part of a story called The Jumping Mouse. So we are going to start it today, we will end it in the middle, and we will read the next part on Thursday. So here is The Jumping Mouse Part 1. It is a folk tale, which we've already learned about, means a story that's been passed on from person to person by them saying it out loud. And today what we want to think about is what Jumping Mouse wants and why he wants it. So let's get started with our story, Jumping Mouse. Once there was a small mouse with a big dream. The small mouse had grown up listening to the elders tell wonderful stories about the far-off land. Now the small mouse lived in the brush near the sparkling river. On the other side of the sparkling river was the dry desert. The small mouse had never had been told that the far-off land was on the other side of the dry desert. Although the mouse was small, he was brave. He intended to go to the far-off land. One day, he said goodbye to his family and friends and set off. His first challenge was to find a way to cross the beautiful sparkling river. As he stared at the lapping water, a frog appeared beside him. You'll have to swim, said the frog. I don't know what you mean, replied the small mouse, for he had never swum before. Watch me, said the frog. And with that, the frog jumped into the sparkling river and began to swim. The small mouse watched the frog for several seconds before announcing, I am afraid I cannot do that. I will have to find another way to cross the sparkling river. The frog returned to the edge of the river. Why are you so determined to cross the sparkling river? Where are you going? asked the frog. I am going to the far off land, replied the small mouse. If you don't mind me saying, you are a very small mouse to cross such a big river and travel such a long distance to the far-off land. The frog stared at the small mouse for a short time, and seeing that he could not be swayed from following his plan, decided to help the small mouse. This is your lucky day, exclaimed the frog. I am a magic frog, and I will help you. I name you Jumping Mouse. You will soon discover that you can jump higher than you have ever jumped before. Follow me, Jumping Mouse, and I will take you across the sparkling river. With that said, the frog and Jumping Mouse jumped very high and landed on a leaf in the middle of the sparkling river. They floated on the leaf to the other side of the sparkling river. Goodbye, my friend, said the frog. Be brave and hopeful and you will surely reach the far-off land. Thank you, replied Jumping Mouse. I will never forget your kindness. Jumping Mouse set off across the dry lizard. He jumped across stones and twigs on his strong legs. As the frog had promised, Jumping Mouse jumped higher than ever before. He traveled by day and by night, stopping only to eat berries wherever he found them. Eventually, Jumping Mouse came to a stream. The stream gave life to part of the desert. Beside the stream grew many bushes. Underneath one of the bushes, there lived a very fat mouse. Good day to you, the fat mouse said to Jumping Mouse. Good day, replied Jumping Mouse. Where are you going? asked the fat mouse. To the far off land, explaining explained Jumping Mouse. However, I would like to rest a while and eat some of the juicy berries that grow on the bushes beside the stream. Be my guest, said the fat mouse. Jumping Mouse stayed with the fat mouse for several days. He ate berries and drank from the cool stream. Before long, he felt rested and ready to continue his journey. It is time for me to continue my journey, said Jumping Mouse one day. Why would you want to travel to a place you are not even sure exists? Stay here with me, where you can eat berries and drink from the stream to your heart's content. But if you must go, be very careful, for the journey will be perilous indeed for such a small mouse, 
warned the fat mouse. I will be careful, and I will find a way to pay forward the kindness you and the frog have shown me. Thank you for your generosity, replied Jumping Mouse, as his powerful legs carried him away. With hope in his heart, John continued on his way. So that was the first part of our story. So let's think about some questions. Who are the characters in the story so far? So far, the characters in the story are Jumping Mouse, the Magic Frog, and the Fat Mouse. Why does Jumping Mouse leave his home and travel across the desert? Jumping Mouse decides to leave his home because he wants to see the far off land. What gift does the Magic Frog give to Jumping Mouse? The magic frog gives Jumping Mouse the ability to jump extremely high. If he didn't have that gift, I don't know if he could have done what he did so far. So let's think about what we're going to write about today. Our question is, how does the gift from the magic frog help Jumping Mouse get across the river? So I want you to think back to our story. If you need to, you can listen to it again. And I want you to write about the gift that the magic frog gave Jumping Mouse and how it helped him get across the river. Don't forget your capital at the beginning and your period at the end, and I can't wait to see your illustration that goes along with it.